a good place to get your stuff. When you buy the solar cells, you can buy that with a uh, flex pan, solder, and the uh, wire that you would need for uh, solar cells. They don't call it wire, they call it something else. It's flat metal, it's conductive, so I call it wire. It's not wire. <coughs> okay, these two items, once you, uh, you're going to have to um, have the wires connect to something and then they have to um, have the wires go out to your batteries. So I bought these at electronic stores. Simply screw these to the back of your uh, solar panel and then you have your way of connecting the uh, panels, solar cells to this and then from there it goes to your battery. Uh, simple thing to buy and then I bought what I showed you early in the video. These are, are solar cells that, that were busted when I, when I bought them. Uh, they give you 10 extra solar cells. I bought 100 and they give you 10 extra. So you're going to make some mistakes. They give you the 10 extra so you can learn how to solder, which is a good thing. Okay, you can see how these were like this and then it snapped in two from pressure. They're very, very fragile. You can't solder without a flux pin. The flux pin is the chemical thing that allows you to solder your, your cells together. This side is the uh, negative side. The bottom side right there is the positive side. Okay, every time you uh, solder, take your flux pan and simply in the white little square area, don't get in the gray because it comes off, put some flux on there. Take your wire that I pre-cut to size. I have the length measure out right here. I measured them all the same and then I sliced them with a pair of scissors. It's that easy. Not very hard at all. Okay, you get, these usually may be bent, so they're just not laying flat. You need to flatten them out a little bit so that you get your nice, you know, get them in the air, get them where you're looking flat. You may have to work at it a little bit, but once you get it there, you simply put this onto your, onto your flexed area, line it up the way you want it, take your, uh, preheated solar iron or I mean uh, soldering iron and take your silver solder it comes with the package and do your solders it's very easy okay, that, that, that easy I just got three nice solders very easy okay, I just did the positive side now what I'll do is I'll take in Flip these back over, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, the way I want it, okay? The next one is, after the positive side, is the negative side, which is the top portion. Once again, you take your soldering pin, you're going to solder along this entire white area. So basically, whether it's back or front, you're taking your solar panel, and you're putting flux I didn't have very much flux on there. You can see uh, when it changes color to a slight yellow that you have flux on there. Otherwise you can't see it and you might not have enough flux on there. Okay, I line it up the way I want it. Okay, now I have these all pre-cut to the right length. So if I line up these wires perfectly, I have the, the same distance between each cell. Okay, you just got to watch out for uh, slippage. Okay, and I can't stress enough that between every time you solder, whether it's got, every time you go to put this iron in the holder or put it down to clean the uh, iron, okay, I always go the length. See that? Nice clean solder. I always go the length that, that I'm going in, okay? Now, it, it may feel weird to go the way I just did it because I'm doing it backwards from the way I normally do it. But that's all there is to it. you see me do uh, one cell. Uh, but it, each cell is uh, half a volt. You get 18 of these cells together, or 36 of these cells. If you have 36 solar cells put together, you're going to have an 18 volt solar panel.
right? Uh, these are rated at about 1.7 amps if I have all uh, 18 in series, and you have to do it, so it's always going to be the positive side to the negative side to the positive side to the negative side, so that they're all in series. Because if I went here to top, that's positive, positive. That's that's not gonna that's not gonna be what you want. Okay, so it's always top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. And you're gonna go all the way up, come over, come all the way back down, come over, and come all the way up. Okay, and then you're gonna have either a negative and a positive, depending on which way it's, it's sitting. You're gonna have your negative and positive opposite ends. Okay, and then if you uh, wire your cells together, they'll be wired together in the same fashion, where uh, in series or parallel. I, I'm not going to go into parallel. I don't want to go into that. You can look it up on the internet, how to wire batteries together, uh, and they'll have in series and parallel, and do it the way you need it, depending on the kind of light you have and the type of situation that you're working in. So in a nutshell, that's all there is to it. These tools come in handy. I would recommend that. I would recommend different tips depending on, on whatever you're doing. I use a flat tip for soldering flat wire. That kind of makes sense, right? If I was doing a circuit board, I'd probably have a pointy tip because I need a very small area that I'm soldering. I'm not an expert, uh, but I followed the directions on somebody else's stuff. They said, well, you're going to tend the wire, and then you put it on there, and then you run it. Uh, with the flux underneath and, and it works real well. The problem that I found out with that is that I'd get too much um, solder on the, on the whole thing. It was just a, it was more of a mess and then I, it was hard to take off. Uh, you have to take your time, let the heat heat up the wire, use this tool to take the wire like this. Okay, you're going to slide the wire thing up here. You can, you can rotate it a little bit so you have some grip. And then you heat it, and as you heat it, you'll pull up on the wire. And then you'll run the iron backwards. And at the same time, you pull up on this, and as it, it'll just pull the wire right up off the top.